Other news tonight, protesters and politicians rallied this morning and then again this afternoon in Chelsea against Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. He's in town for a conservative Jewish conference. Demonstrators called DeSantis, quote, dangerous for the LGBTQ community. Eyewitness News reporter Lucy Yang is live in Chelsea, at Chelsea Piers, rather. Lucy? Well, Sandra, Chelsea Piers is back to joggers and bikers and those just trying to enjoy the facilities here. But earlier today, there were demonstrators out here with signs and chants and anger over one of the speakers invited to this popular location. Protesters took to Chelsea Piers on this beautiful Sunday, furious that Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, a Republican, was invited to speak at a private event here. I'm here to heckle some cops. I'm here to yell at Ron DeSantis, and I'm here to let uh, transphobes and bigots know that there are consequences for their actions. In March, Governor DeSantis signed into law a parental rights bill, which prohibits school instructions on sexual orientation and gender identity for younger students. Critics have labeled it an attack on the LGBTQ plus community, calling it a don't say gay hate law. We're here today to show support for the LGBT plus community and tell Ron DeSantis that we won't stand for him speaking in our backyard. The event was sponsored by a conservative Jewish group called the Tikva Fund. Governor DeSantis was their closing speaker this afternoon. Protesters are angry not just at the governor, but also at Chelsea Piers for agreeing to host the event. The timing also a source of ire. This is Pride Month, something many New Yorkers embrace. City Councilman Eric Botcher represents this district and says it was a teacher who helped save his life. I'm from a rural area, and I had a teacher who came to me who knew that I was struggling, knew that I was different. That is why I'm alive today. Governor DeSantis's speech was called the Florida model and why it's good for religious America. Many speculate he is setting his sights on the White House.